coming to you live from the cradle of motherfucking civilization. It's time for Destiny Down Under. episode of the Destiny Down Under podcast. I've just scared the shit out of Sloth. Someone needs to clip that. Sorry, man. We were just having a really mild-mannered conversation before going live, and then I'm coming in with a, G'day, how you going? But, how are you going anyway? <laughs> I'm joined, as always, by uh, uh, Mylan Games uh, Anthem Lawmaster. <laughs> uh, recently retired Destiny Lawmaster. <laughs> <laughs> now only Anthem, because yes, I committed one of the terrible sins of a content creator, and that is stepping outside your box and playing another game. How freaking dare you? How dare you play something else? You are not a gamer. You're a Destiny content creator, and that is all you are worth. That is the only value you have to your name. Chill. I'm gonna sound the shill alarm. Shill game. Mylan oh, shill games. How oh, very dare you! How <laughs> oh, very dare you play a game that you enjoy and promote another game, man! <laughs> <laughs> oh god, did you fall over? Oh, oh no. you did. <laughs> I'm good. And as always, we're joined by Sloth, who's been up all night doing the Lord's work, fucking streaming for charity for Beyond Blue. So how loud did it go, Sloth? You've been up all night. You've uh, you've had one hour's sleep. Oh, I thought it was ambitious when you said, um, oh, I'm going to put five alarms on and I'm going to have a kip and I'll be up for the podcast. I legitimately put every contingency that we have into play <laughs> to fucking make sure the podcast would still work. Etz is in the chat. He was involved in that. He knows what's up. But uh, you managed to make it nonetheless. So good on you, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I tell you what, though. Oh, like the uh, uh, like we've got we've got some venom. Uh, yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> warning. We've got some motherfucking venom today. I tell you what. However, <laughs> good thing about this is that we, as a community, and I'll say as a community because it's people from my community, Log's community, and Mylan's community. That have raised a thousand and sixty two dollars in twelve hours. Oh, if you, so phenomenal. this is this, you're doing two stints, just so everyone's clear. If you're listening to this within the first twenty four hours of, of the podcast being uploaded or whatever, or if you're here live, obviously, uh, sloth's doing it was like two a.m. our time to two p.m. right. Something like that was something nuts. I don't know. Uh, 11, 11 30, 11 30 my time to 11 30. 11 30 last night to 11 30 yeah. this morning. 12 so, hours and I'll do another 12 hours tonight. Two 12 hour stints, one Friday, one Saturday. So if uh, if you're listening to this or you're here right now, just stay on the yeah. hit, hit up the DDU um, Twitter because I'll be retweeting everything through that. You'll know what the man's up to and uh, get in there and show some support because it's for a great cause and one that I think the three of us all believe in a hell of a lot. So, you know, that's, that's, oh, well, we got the positive stuff out of the way, boys. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get right into the negativity. Uh, let's get right into the um, bullshit. <laughs> let's let's. Uh, so I think you're a little bit like quiet, said, which might be a good thing going forward. <laughs> there, there is a there is a bit of a bit of venom today. Uh, excuse me. There is a bit of venom today. Um, but we'll get the destiny news out of the way because it's, a good move. it's it's a it's a small amount of destiny, but I think it's a very um large topic topic that small has, amount of news large topic air yeah. quotes affected <clears throat> the destiny community 
Uh, oh, Sloth we'll doing the second. most exaggerated air quotes of all time just for our audio only mm. <laughs> friends and family. All right, so Ladies. let's jump into the, the This Week at Bungie and we'll, we'll sh- jump off from there, I think. Ready? Spaghetti. Good. Ladies and gentlemen, this week at Bungie, 14th of <laughs> February 2019, Crimson Days. <laughs> In case you didn't know it, Crimson Days has returned to Destiny 2. Uh, Lord Shax invites all players to engage in jolly cooperation by forging the bonds in the Crimson Days Crucible playlist. He is also offering his hand in marriage to several million play- players. So he's going to be. What? Yeah, what is that about? He's a polygamist. Like, he's, <laughs> yeah, he's like, he's hey, a polygamist. He, shit uh, works he, different I mean, in the future. Look, look, it was a missed just, opportunity not to bring Marasov back in with the bow. I'm just saying, <sighs> it's a missed opportunity because Shax was going to get her a gift of the bow and then they have this bow and it doesn't, like, come on. It should have, that log tab should have been Lord Shax got rejected by Marasov. Here's the second hand gift. Like, here's the bow. He's that the re the bow. <laughs> He's re gifting a Valentine's Day gift. Holy yeah. fuck, yeah. there is. Hang on. Uh, if if he gets there. knocked back, aren't you just meant to like, because normally Valentine's Day is just chocolates or flowers, aren't you just meant to like eat the chocolates and cry or, <laughs> <laughs> or the pizza? Hey, that's what I mean. Eat the flowers hey, as well, isn't it? Hang fire. If he's like re gifting us all of the like all of the things, listen, I mean Shaq's a good looking dude, like, you know, to each their own. Well you don't know that. His um, helmet's been on the whole time. Yeah, he, he might have be a head like a smacked he's ass. Got a good, he's got a good looking helmet, all right. Um <laughs> oh, that's, that why, be, that's why that it's staying on. Constru- that can be construed as something completely weird. Um <clears throat> yeah, I mean, when you think about it, if you take that whole Lord Shaxx Marasov story and replace his helmet with a paper bag, that's pretty rough. <laughs> the paper bag stayed You've on. Got a face, <laughs> face like a hat full of busted assholes. Holy. <laughs> um, <laughs> so basically, like the the way I see it is, is that he got knocked back like by Mara. So he's on the rebound, and he is rebounding the couple of million whores that we are for. Sexual intercourse for loot. Um, I'm good with it. Yeah. Oh, I'm okay with it. Oh, I'm okay with it. Yep. Um, if you have yet to jump into this playlist, don't worry. Listed below are the key features that you should be aware of. This is that this set uh, the hair of the set playlet playlist experience. There you go. Yeah, it, yeah, it's fine. All right. <laughs> These are the features of the, of the crimson playlist. Thank you. I, I'm struggling to read. Uh, play account. Crimson Days Crucible is a 2v2 experience. Players can jump in solo if they choose or in a pre-made fire team with a partner. Reunited. Reunited is a special buff that increases the recharge rate of the Guardian abilities for teammates to stick close together. Just a, que- just a thought on that. When we started playing on, on Wednesday, Matt, I was thinking to myself, why the fuck can I throw 13 fucking grenades? Yeah, I dude, I was I didn't realize that was the ability. Like I'm like, oh my god, I'm a I'm a grenade whore right now. <laughs> What's yeah, happening? You, like Matt and I were sticking together. I was <laughs> We were we were wrecking, stri- by the way. I was we were on striker. Oh, I was on striker. Pulse grenade. Oh yeah. Crowd control. Pulse grenade. You know, you can funnel them into where we want to go. <laughs> Oh, yeah, so just, yeah. Stay the bastards. Stick, you know, like. stick together, man. Mm. Uh, falling apart. Falling apart <laughs> is a debuff that grants enemy teammates waypoints to your locations uh, when you and your teammate drift too far apart, which is actually really fucking handy. I'll tell you what, because a lot yeah. of blueberries are like, oh, well, I'm not going to stay together. Fuck, whatever. Um, but it made things a hell of a lot easier. You can just see people like when just, they come around corners and everything. And, you know, you can yep. keep them staggered if you're good enough. It's actually pretty fun. I was having a good time, Crimson. Yeah. I reckon they should keep and it. Anyway, moving on. I, I, I would like to see doubles. Yeah, I think doubles is, is one of those things because, I mean, me and Keggy and Halo used to just smash the shit out of it. It was most of what I played, either that or big team, just no normal size game modes at all. So oh, I'll be relatively be nice happy with it. SWAT. <laughs> yeah, SWAT was nice. rude. SWAT. Swap would be nice. Hey, you know what? Um, I was thinking about it this morning when I, I redid the the run sheet. In mm-hmm. within the next month, we have episode one one seven. 
Master Chief's uh, Spartan number. I think we're going to have to do a Halo special. <laughs> I didn't know that. How far away is that? Because when's Metro? When, when's Metro? How's when's fucking Halo Infinite making a return? Well, it's not in the next four weeks. <laughs> Precisely oh, four weeks from now. <laughs> anyway. Just and, an idea. Uh, the, the, the final Crucible experience for Crimson Doubles is Vengeance. Vengeance is triggered when a player's teammate is defeated in combat. For a short time, the surviving player is granted significantly, significantly increased ability regeneration and receives a small portion of their health back. Why you t- can you just talk like a normal person? Because it's so quiet. Well, I haven't slept, you <laughs> fuck! <laughs> Crimson Days will uh, continue until the weekly reset of February 19th. So finish those bounties while you can. There is a, a max power bow to be won by you and your partner. Legitimately, you can do that in, what, two, maybe an hour and a half or something like that. What, do you reckon I have a f- of those things Mate, just from the game we, we played? We had enough by the end of your stream on Wednesday. We had really? enough, I can guarantee you. Yeah, 100%. It's 100 tokens. Okay. Was, it was enjoyable. It was enjoyable. It was a little bit, yeah. There's some other bounties you can do. You don't, you don't have to just do Crucible. There's a couple other bounties like a, I think a strike or a daily mission or something in a, in a, in a pair. Or it was another bounty that you didn't have to do just do the Crucible to get the. I, the I think this is good. It's it's sort of the re uh, redoing of the horror story mechanic that we saw from the Halloween event that allowed people to really boost their light level up at the end of the season. Yeah. I think, I think, like you um, know, if you missed that opportunity, go and get this one for fuck's sake because it makes a massive difference. You'll be looking at the next season at you know you'll be at level, not below it. So can can I can I add on this crucible topic because I was away when the last word came out and yeah. I did that on stream just while we were doing this actually, and Merlin Games, someone who literally never plays PvP. I was able to achieve that crucible step. All right, ease up, last word. because you have a fucking. You say that you're terrible at PvP. Yeah, you're pretty good at but it. I play <laughs> a, I play Apex with you, and you're the one who's usually at the fucking top of the kill ball. And I played Tarkov with you, and you're the one that's usually dropped about six or seven fucking bodies before I've even loaded in. Is this is this going to be archived? This is the first time <laughs> someone's ever spoken nice to me. <laughs> I've been trying to impress Dad for so long about my gaming skills. That's all I've been doing. And now, Damn. finally, <laughs> he says that I'm good. All right. Oh, it's good that you fucked off to Anthem anyway, Matt. Now, none of that really yeah. matters. <laughs> fucking traitor. <laughs> fucking traitor. All right. Well, let's get into right. the most contentious part of the 12 and literally anything anyone in the Destiny community has spoken about that's Destiny related in the last 24 hours has been Bungie basically throwing out there that they will not be bringing back trials within the foreseeable seasonal future and that they are basically shelving it, reworking it, retooling it. They're not bringing it back in the way it, the way it was introduced in House of Wolves. That won't be happening. And Trials of the Nine isn't coming back either. Now, this, as anything that happens in the Destiny community, resulted in a lot of people <laughs> shitting their pants and screeching at their fucking phones or whatever, and then punching a whole heap of poorly thought out rubbish into Twitter and just getting generally angry about it. So while I do understand that people wanted this game mode to come back, and I personally think that it probably would have been a good thing for the community to get some other kind of PvP mode, you know, be that trials or whatever. I, like, you know, I think I totally understand why people want it back. But the fact that, like, you can go onto Twitter and see people just verbally abusing anyone at fucking Bungie and carrying on like an absolute pork chop and speaking like people to black like, shit over the fact that a game mode that was fucked in Destiny 2, like Trials of the Nine <laughs> was shit. And it, they took it out because it was that shit. And then... Like, oh, you didn't make it three people and bring it back. What would it have fixed? It would have been fucking oh. awful. It's just stupid. Now, like... I, 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 like, I, I... So I went through a couple of different phases of emotion with this. You know, I saw people that... Obviously, Denial. let's just... Let's just, like, discount anyone that's, like... I hate Bungie for doing this. I can't believe... Like, just... Let's just discount all the angry stuff because they're idiots anyway. And then there was other tweets that were like, I feel betrayed and I feel upset. 
I was like, well, that's that's going a bit far. But <laughs> then I then then I thought, yeah, I I could get that if you're in the PvP community because that's how I felt when they took out the law, right? When they took out Grimoire guards. <laughs> Do you yeah, remember yeah, that? Okay, yeah. And I yeah. was like, I actually felt betrayed for that. So then I was like, okay. You know, I'm looking at these tweets and I'm, I'm thinking they're like, they're overreacting just a little bit here. But, yeah, I can see the point. Like, I felt betrayed when they took away Grimoire cards and I can imagine this is a similar feeling. So let, <laughs> let, let people have that as long as they're not being just complete dickheads about it. Um, it still has this, like, tinge of entitlement, which still, oh, like, tr- <laughs> triggers me. But... I, I can tinge, see it. Like if it's tinge if it's, of entitlement, <laughs> just a tinge. For those of you listening, Sloth is now just laying back in a full recline position on his chair, and I honestly reckon it's minutes from him nodding off. So if we start hearing <laughs> snoring, we'll uh, we'll just let him go. We don't need to wake the big man up. He needs to catch up on some sleep for his stream tonight. So well, it's all yeah, good. Yeah, it's um, uh, all right. So okay. <laughs> all right. I understand that some people do miss trials. That's yeah. fine. Competitive can be very sweaty. Oh, quick play can be very sweaty. Make Trials 3v3. I even agree with that to a degree because Trials was like the, the pinnacle of PvP in D1. A lot of the people who are complaining about Trials not coming back and they're like, I'm leaving Destiny forever. I'm, it's not just not for me anymore. Are the people that were paying for, a, who were having people pay them for, recoveries, which are against TOS of Bungie, charging people for trials runs on stream, which is a gray area. So, and, and these, these are the people who are spitting fucking venom, who are being very toxic on Twitter and calling for <laughs> people's jobs and shit like that of a actual bona fide business because you can't make a few extra dollars to go and buy your own goddamn weed or buy your own (laughs) fucking KFC or McDonald's or buy your own fucking wee fucking body pillow because (laughs) you can't make a few extra dollars on trials. Yeah, it's sad that trials are going away. To be honest, I felt like- guess what? You making money off Bungie, uh, off of Destiny, is not the way the D- game do you know works. What? It's not all about you. It's not all about Milan Games. It's not about Thrill <laughs> It's not all about <laughs> fucking Log Power Slave. It's not all about the fucking massive PvP streamers. It's about Bungie and what's good for the greater game base. If people mm-hmm. weren't playing Trials except Sweat, guess what? Maybe to be to change it. Wait, but to be honest, Fucking don't you parasites? Don't you think that most of the look, uh, you guys seem to somehow attract a lot of negativity on Twitter. I don't either. Just don't pay enough attention, or just don't care Mate, enough. Mate, you to, spend to three that. minutes on Twitter per week. <laughs> yeah, it's usually when you write your own tweets up. and then you tweet, and then you vanish off into fucking <laughs> the Milan yeah, realm or wherever the fuck law exists. <laughs> I you live there for Twitter. better or worse. It's awful. <laughs> You open up Twitter and you open up the cunt chat. <laughs> Fuck, I just said it. Whatever. <laughs> That's um, all right. <laughs> you open up that chat or you open up a, a chat from me because you don't check Discord and you go, uh, Apex? Yeah, let's go. Let's play some Apex, mate. That's what <laughs> I'm you back do. off. Um, but uh, from I the ones I right. did see, d- well, from the ones I did see, it seems like the people being really upset were people that weren't even playing destiny anymore that that left that were part of that first sort of wave to leave yeah like there's part of that and then there's part of like the oh well i was just hanging around in case trials come back and now i'm gone i'm like well what the fuck Fuck off. Really? Fuck off. <laughs> you're like, a fucking quite, idiot. Yeah. Quite legitimately. Do, you, do you think they were surprised with the reaction? Because Charles hasn't been on the cards for a long time. And they just sort of said, like, clearly it's it's not in this right space. Nah. But it got a really big reaction. I don't know if they expected that. 
I don't think they did either. And, and, and I think that we'll probably the, see steps in the short term to maybe there'll be an elimination 3v3 come in in Crucible Labs or something like that. There'll be something done to appease the masses because that's just the way the world has to work. But at the same time, like when you think back to – everyone looks back at fucking D1 trials who rose tinted glasses, right? Oh, there was no yeah. PC fucking trials in D1. It was fucking all on console. So the, the, like it would be fucking random. Rampant DDoSing toxic shit. It would be way worse than comp is right now. Do, and I honestly do, think that Bungie know that, and that's why they've gone, no, we're not about that do, right now until do, we can figure it out and make it better. Do, do you know what? Part of me wishes they do like a parent approach. And like, fine, fine. You want it? You get it. And they just they just release trials again and it's and it's it's Exactly like D1, it's a three versus three, elimination, whatever, and everyone fucking hates it. And they go, well, you wanted it, now you fucking deal with it, and we're not making another game mode. And, like, they just put all these resources into this fucking mode that's just, just not going to work for Destiny 2. I would love, you know, they, they, they could do that so now if they really wanted to. They've got Probably. no Activision to the, answer the, to. They could be like, the, you know what, fine, fucking have it. But there you go. The, you that's the other thing. Things. That's the other thing is that the whole, oh, you know, now that Bungie aren't tied to Activision anymore, they can take their time to get game modes right and do Destiny right and it's going to be perfect. What? The thing that I want isn't coming back in two weeks? Fuck! <laughs> fucking <laughs> fuck off. And you know what? The other thing is that this community is notorious for not knowing what the fuck it wants anyway. Oh, we want it to be more hardcore. And guess what? Now it's fucking hardcore. It's too hardcore. Fuck off. <laughs> just calm yeah, down. Yeah. <laughs> Just wait. If they've got a plan, that's not like they said, no. look, we're never bringing back anything that ever resembles trials again because we want to throw it in a waste paper basket and burn the fuck out of it and then piss on its ashes. That would be different. But they said it's not coming back in the next six and a half or nine months. That's not the end of the fucking world. Like when D3 I, launches I, or whatever I, comes next, I think that'll be a big part of it, probably. I had a really bad thought. I thought about... <laughs> <laughs> getting Gamma Trap to do up like a fake lore tab about Trials of Osiris and just putting it on like a weapon weapon tab or something and then it being like the, Osiris is extremely disappointed in these the quality of Guardians and this, it's never coming back. <laughs> and then just, <laughs> I mean, hashtag legit lore and just like... Yeah. Just wipe it out like that. Just write something about oh, so, Osiris. Osiris has Please. shut down the trials because everyone hated his fucking DLC when it came out. <laughs> He's like, fuck you guys. I'm just going to the bloody rock on with the Vex. I'm not even concerned. The, the, <laughs> the, 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 just, the curse of Osiris, guys, has revealed itself. It is. <laughs> the, cur- the curse of Osiris. It is there's no trials. <laughs> yeah, um, you know what? At the end of the day, like I, the the more the most the most people I see who are wanting trials to come back are the people who are charging people to like make That's legitimately a- making money off of the game in the most fucking gray area of gray areas, and oh. they're crying and whinging and complaining that you know it's all going. You know what? You weren't going to be you weren't going to be part of the game if it came back. Or not. The a particular person I saw goes, I won't be coming back to Destiny. Motherfucker, you haven't played Destiny since prior to Forsaken. Pull that's, what I'm, that's what I'm saying too. Like a lot of those people that like that had already left anyway. But to credit to with credits to I, I did see a tweet from Lucky and Buttwipe that was very um controlled. You know, considering that they you know, definitely made a, a name for themselves in trials. It was just like, you know, it sucks. It's not here, um, but you know, we'll we'll deal with it or whatever. You know, it's it's it wasn't <laughs> as toxic. Yeah, I think they might still be in damage control from the start of the week. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, I forgot about that. <laughs> yeah, you know what? They they got a bit of fucking. Uh, you know, they're going to be digging sideways for a while to get out of the hole there. You know. <laughs> Dig inside, there's, <laughs> there's, 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 there's going to be uh, no dig up, stupid. <laughs> like they're, um, 
<laughs> yeah, I mean, at least I don't have to yeah, worry about the bills. So good on them. Anyway, moving, yeah. <laughs> moving on. Oh, um, look, I, I do understand people's <laughs> disappointment. Don't get me wrong when I sound really dismissive of – I'm not I'm not dismissive of people being disappointed that it's not coming back. And I'm not saying if you are disappointed not to, to write a tweet and say, you know, like, I'm disappointed that this isn't coming yeah, back. Yeah, I yeah. thought he'd added yeah. this. I feel like the game is missing this without yeah. it. Maybe even give an idea or a suggestion or start a conversation – in a positive way about what you can, you know, like, because then you're contributing. Then you're not just going, yeah, cause, cause, fuck cause, this name, Because, Bungie, because there, fuck. Was, ah. there, was, there was a lot of, um, like, PvP community that I saw that were, you know, that are, are really big voices saying, you know, Bungie, w- what can we do to help if you're going to, yeah. uh, you know, is there going to be yeah, a summit? Can, can we give some feedback about it? Can we work yeah. with you? Can we? And I thought that was. Um, yeah, I think that's excellent. You yeah. know, I, a, a great approach to it there, is like there are, there how can we support you guys to make some decisions about competitive because i i wouldn't you know like thinking about like the summit that i went to like obviously i had heaps of input on how i think the law should be but i have no idea of 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 the the problem with trials and com- competitive crucible because i just don't play enough and yeah, you know I mean, you just need to get those guys in the room and and uh, you know, but the other thing is like, <clears throat> it's not, you can't take people's word. Like when people say they want X or they want Y, it's not always true because people aren't very good at communicating. Um, it's also a knee-jerk and, reaction nine times out of the And yeah, and part of the issue is like interpreting what the community is saying or what they want. And that is and obviously part of doing summits and that kind of thing is like, you, it, it doesn't necessarily solve the problem. You can definitely get it wrong still and get on the wrong path. And so you have you to mean. ask a lot of questions and you have to do a lot of trials. And, you know, you, you really do have to throw stuff out into the world as well. You have to do, like, the labs and that. <laughs> Terrible use of the word trials, man. Come trials, on. yeah. <laughs> you gotta be, you, you got to do heaps of trials. <laughs> you got to get the lighthouse before you figure any of this shit out, man. It's fucking hard. <laughs> yeah, to, to, figure out, to figure out what the Destiny community You need a guarding lighthouse to, to really work this problem to, out. <laughs> um, I mean that, but you need to um, mm. have a master's degree in speaking <laughs> and reading Latin. You need to have a master's degree in speaking and reading Farsi, fucking Mandarin Chinese, Japanese, <laughs> Where are you American going English, with this? I don't Australian know, but he's very English. tired. <laughs> like, you, you What's need Sloth a basically saying? master's degree. You need a master's degree in fucking moon language to figure out what the fuck the Destiny community wants because they've got fucking so many niches. They've got so many little pockets of fandom that have they have the law which is bigger than usual they have the pvp which is bigger than usual again you've got pve only which is it's not huge <laughs> Dude, it's look not at, small look at it this way but when when you look at this like trials is kind of the hardcore of the hardcore fucking pvp right and around the launch of fucking uh, Season of the Forge, we, there was this massive backlash against like, oh, the game's too hardcore now. The game's fucking, you know, like, and everyone that's hardcore is going, oh, well, if you don't fucking spend the time on it, you don't deserve to get the stuff. And now the other end's like, well, guess what? There's no trials and we're not happy with it, so we're not bringing it back. And the real hardcore players are like, what the fuck? So really, it's just I can see what they're trying to do, and it's it, it, they've got to figure out things that fit in the middle because they're the things that are going to appeal to everyone. They're, you know, like do I believe that at some point there's going to be some form of trials come back? Yeah, and would I really love to see the community and people who know shit about things in the community? have an input on that. I'd love to see like someone like Anubis get involved who's run tournaments and understands that whole oh, culture and, and thing Lord. like that. He's he would Please. be the go to dude for me and, and other guys, you know, yeah. like guys that were really into the PvP side of it without getting all the fucking toxic shit streaks that have left the community and failed as Fortnite streamers in the interim. Um you know. <laughs> <laughs> I I um you know I I think that that would be a great move because you look at a game like Apex that's just come out and they had serious buy-in from really, you know, people who were uh, going to play that game and who's who it was aimed at and all that. And, and it's come out and it's, it's been a great success. So would I like to see some kind of summit? Fucking oath. But at the end of the day, you have to back Bungie, who invented fucking trials to begin with, saying, well, yeah. right now it's not appropriate. Yeah, that, back that, to play. That was the point that I was trying to get to as well and like, 
I know I've mentioned it before, and it's sort of like the Steve's the Steve Jobs approach. It's like you didn't fucking know you wanted your phone to do everything until I gave you a phone that could do everything. Do you know? Like, do you yeah. know? You don't know what you want yet. Do you know? Like, I, I mean, it I'm, was like that with Gambit. You didn't know you wanted a PVP PVE hybrid until we gave you one. That's. Thing. I mean, you got to look at that's a Steve Jobs is a really good example because it's also you know you can have someone that's really smart too and they could be doing all the right things and then just they can drop the ball once and be like, no, I'm not going to get conventional I cancer treatment. I'm going to get like I'm just going to use holistic medicine and now he's dead. So you know you, you got to forgive people their mistakes at times too. I mean that's a big one it's hard to come back from being dead but the the, the other thing the other thing as well and i like i've I've spat some fucking pretty incoherent venom today on the podcast but um the i feel that sometimes in bungie trying to please everyone in bungie trying to please everyone they have created this sumptuous buffet of everything but bungie a sumptuous buffet does not co- does not consist of fucking baby bell mini cheese, an old boot, and fucking rotten tuna. Like you can't have a mix of everything and expect everyone to be happy. I want yeah, Bungie, that's my point. and whatever this means, whatever this means, I want Bungie to focus on making the best Destiny, yeah. make it slightly more hardcore than the average looter shooter. Slightly more hardcore than the average loot shooter, and make it the best destiny it can be. Yeah, I think PvP that's the, is that's a the big, fucking is a, P- PvP is a big part of the game, as PVE is, as law, as story, as solo players are. Mm. But there's got to be a a dedicated focus to move it from this this sumptuous ball of everything to destiny. Yeah, and I mean, look at look at um, trials, original trials, as an example of of what a well structured mode that is in context and hits the right notes can do. Because House of Wolves in itself was an incredibly light offering, right? Like there was no raid with that. There was Prison of Elders and fucking it, it was light by comparison to what everyone was expecting. Yet it came along with trials and trials. While it was never my cup of tea, I was, you know, I played my fair share of it, but it, I'm no sweat lord, so it was never my cup of tea. It, it hit the right notes at the time, and you know whether that was through f- circumstance or luck or design, Bungie managed to do that, and I think that's part of why it held such a fond place in people's hearts because it was the the majority of the game for that time. Now, you fast forward to where we are now. We've got comp, we've got quick play, we've got gambit, we've got fucking raids, we've got strikes, we've got <laughs> there is we've got that much shit to do we've got forges we've got whatever the fuck comes with season of the drifter or you know whatever comes next so i think right now in the short term it would just be another thing that would be diluting the pool of players and breaking everyone up and doing different things as well do we see some you know do we see a revamp of comp that you know takes on a more trials like structure and you know i think these things are probably what they're considering because for mine comp was like the the thing that they bought in that you know, it was the half measure two trials when trials of the nine didn't work. So there's, there's clearly some things that, and things outside of just reintroduce the game mode exactly as it was in D1 and everything will fucking work and we'll all be happy, sing kumbaya, and that's the end of it. It's, it's not like that. It's not going to work like that. And I don't think that's there's no selling the complexity for what it's worth. It's it's a hard fucking yeah. thing to answer. So look, there's, that's our take on it. No take it or, or leave it. Easy fix. If you're angry about it, chin up, buttercup. <laughs> He's a he's a he's a he's a th- and these two have told me and a few other people have told me is uh, have a shot of concrete, run the fuck up, put your best foot forward and move the fuck on. <laughs> I just I don't get Shut it. Shut up. All right. Anyway. <laughs> Slothy, um, you are, you know what? I'm going to give you 10 out of 10 so far because you've managed to stay all over it. And I think if I was in your situation, having had the amount of sleep you've had and put in the hard yards playing Anthem, which we're going to cover after this little uh, aggressive piece of music, is um, you're doing really well, mate. Just keep it together. For the people at home, this man looks fucking dead on his feet. <laughs> Oh, so I'm qu- like a normal Saturday. Just you know, this just is, between you is, and me, listener, is, I'm questioning his fucking sanity as I sit here. 
this this is 48 <laughs> hours, uh, 48, 49, 52 hours awake. This right here. 52 hours. Oh, this looks like 52 years of shit to me. But anyway, play the music. Oh, fuck up. <laughs> All right, we played Destiny right. music to talk about Anthem. <laughs> but whatever. Uh, so, <laughs> so, Matt, big announcement. You're quitting, you're quitting Destiny and moving full time to Anthem. No. I don't know why you <laughs> Yeah, look. <laughs> it. it. How how very dare you, like quite legitimately, how very dare you play another game on your channel? I don't, I don't just... understand, guys, I don't understand how like, I, I was streaming Anthem for less than an hour because my computer crashed three times this morning. Well optimized and game. How, and how in that time someone can come in and go, Wait, are you still playing Destiny or have you quit now? And I just, I don't understand where that thought or that logic comes from. Because that, that, that implication is, all right, my, you've like built a channel of four years. You've been through some of the toughest of the lows of the lows with yeah, Destiny. Those people probably weren't there then. <laughs> they probably fucked and off. <laughs> I see you playing another game. You must have quit. I don't. Yeah. I don't how, understand. How very me. dare you mm. put four years of destiny work and hard work, and you've put in hard work. Yeah, fucking clip this and fucking oh, yeah. keep it to yourself so you can make yourself feel better. You know when I give you shit, but you've put in the hard work and you put in fucking really good mm. content. How dare you? Feel a need to diversify. <laughs> How you know what, man? If you were within range, I would slap you with a glove. <laughs> How very dare you diversify oh, your yeah. content? It's like it's... I just, I don't, I legitimately don't understand where these people are coming from, and like it's, it's like. The, but it's but do you know point. what's harder? Do you know what? Like dealing with trolls is actually easier. I- I actually find those comments way harder to deal with mentally because I know they're being serious. Does that make sense? Yeah, because like, I actually go, find it <laughs> way more challenging to deal with like people that um, can obviously like I'm obviously playing a different game, and this is the thing. Like, I know I've built a lot of interest around law because that's all I talk about, but it's one of those yeah, things. It's like, well. I don't always like, I know that's the only thing you see from me, but I don't necessarily want to always talk about it, especially if I'm playing another game. Like, and it's hard to not be rude. It's sort of like, yeah, I think you've made a rod for I'm your own playing back. Anthem <laughs> right now <laughs> and I'm trying to enjoy this. And I know that you're just a massive fan of Destiny, Destiny Law. And this is the first time you've ever been in my streams. So you want to ask Destiny Law questions. So, like, I'm streaming Anthem. I'm getting, like, four people go, oh, is Marasov going to come back? Uh, and I, I just didn't say anything because I just don't know how to deal with that because part of it's, like, what do you say to that? Like, oi, fucking stop that. Yeah, <laughs> but, when you, I stream, yeah. but when I stream Destiny Law, I want you to keep that enthusiasm, okay? Like, yeah, I'm gonna bite you your head fucking, off now, but come back in a week when I'm talking about Destiny again, and you know you what? We're gonna be real good friends. Pocket that excitement, you pocket that excitement, and come back <laughs> for it. Like, and so in the end, I'm like, well, I guess it's a good thing because I've built, you know, a community that's really interested in it. But it's just that double edged blade of like, that's all people want to hear about. <clears throat> that's all yeah. they subscribe for. That's all they want to do, and that's all they want to talk about. And it, and it's it's so hard to deal with in a live environment, and it, it was. You know, I don't know. Tough. I, I think I think what we'll do, we'll talk about Anthem. I personally haven't played a minute of it. I've watched Sothy play a little bit. I'm not even really that interested, and I don't like. I'm interested in your opinions on it, and it may well be something I get into down the line. But for now, I'm I'm just I'm not about it. So what I might do is I'll take the role of like the I'll I'll come in with questions and ask you shit. And okay. you can just talk okay. talk to you guys' experience. So Sothy, okay. I believe played since from launch until about eleven o'clock 
this morning, our time. So he's got what, like maybe nine fucking hours or something into it. So he's had a fair crack. You've had yep. a few this morning. Um, yep. Matt and your experience, like how, how, how's it, how's it all going in the, uh, the Anthem verse? So there, look, I really appreciate what they've done with storytelling. There are so many little things which I hadn't really thought about, which would just be so good for, for destiny. Things like you pick up an entry in the world and it gives you a preview of the law tab, essentially what a law tab is. It gives you a preview of it. So you can read it right then and there without having to open another menu. I'm like, that's great. So, you know, yeah. it, it would be very similar to um, when you get the law um, notification, law entry added. To have like a preview come up be on able the screen, to push so, back or Y or fucking whatever on your keyboard and yeah, you pull just, it up, you can look just at it then and there, and, and move on. So things like that are really cool. And and um, the 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 quest log. Do you remember in? I just totally forgot this left destiny. Do you remember? I think it was was it Rise of Iron or Age of Triumph. Do you remember when you had actually like the quest log steps and it showed yep. you every step? Yep. So Anthem has that too in its cortex, and what it does is it sort of updates the dialogue and the lore as it goes through. So, like, if you forget what the mission was, like, right now in Destiny, if you're not writing down what the mission's called, you, you either don't get it or, you know, it's sort of gone forever. Whereas in this, you can go, okay, this mission was called uh, Back Into the Fire, and you can see the steps that you did, and you can see like the dialogue that was had or, you know, so it's, it's actually really handy for following as like a single player campaign. And I think some of those aspects I would love to see in destiny, like the quest steps, little previews. Um, so that stuff works really well. Things that I don't like the UI, the, in general, the UI system is just disgusting. It, it's, it's so clunky backwards like go backwards to go forwards you know like a lot of the time you're pressing escape to go forwards right you so like let's just say you finish you get yeah. your xp yeah rather than just rather than right clicking to go forwards you press escape to skip it's it's very yeah, it backwards wrong. thinking i found that in the item. ui and you you click on something and you select it and then you go back to another system so it, like I think if you did a flow diagram of like the UI system, it's not linear forwards. It's like there's a hub and you like, you go out and you come back and you go out and you come back. And it's, 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 I'm not a fan of it at all. Um, the, the combination of that and load screens does so much damage to the story. Like if this was all one area, it would be truly amazing with how they accomplished multiplayer in, st in like a MMO ish you loot and shoot with a story because the the voice acting and the uh, the interaction is so much better than Destiny. They really excel in storytelling and Fort Tarsus and your interaction with characters and keeping you on track. But then you just have these load screens that just hit you in the face like. So I'm get, and if you don't have an SSD, it is painful. I'm like getting into missions like a minute before people, and I'm already at the next check mark before people have even loaded in on PC. And I'm getting like story dialogue, <laughs> and I'm like scanning stuff already and like collecting things, and they're still loading. <laughs> That's all right for you, but anyone else would just run ahead and be trying to do the mission solo. You're just fossicking around for, for <laughs> deep bits of lore. Yeah, I mean, that, I found I found that in the beta that the the sit and it was like really difficult to like get, end up getting your head around like, oh, where the fuck do I even go in to like change the color of shit and things like that. Like, obviously, once you're familiar with it, it's pretty straightforward. But it, it was in a way the UI, especially like. With, when you come to like modifying yourself or you're like looking through the where you're going to do your missions, I found it really clunky. And I think that, you know, that yeah. was never going to change between the beta and now. So fair enough. The and other thing load that, screens like if you want to go to the forge, load screen, come out of the forge, another load screen, go into a mission, load screen, match make, load screen again. In the mission, go into a cave, load screen, into that cave, 
another cutscene, load screen. Come back out of the cave, load screen, come back. So I imagine there was limitations of platform, console, whatever, that they had to divide things into the bubble. And I just, it, it, I, I feel like it, it hurts. It really does hurt the game. Um, uh, the, the amount of, the, I, I, I know I, I from the, what little I know about game development, I know why they have so many loads yeah. That, yeah, so when yeah. you're in when you're in fleet free play, so my PC it's no slouch, but it's also not the top of the line beast. With OBS open, with OBS open, streaming, I jumped in a free play. It topped out at ninety nine percent, and then like no matter would depended on how much how many uh, objects were on screen, there were popping issues. My CPU was staying at 86 to 90%. And if you had the constant, constant, and I mean fucking like on, on how many objects are in the world, if you had a constant area where you just flew in and it was just a like a, a very quick loading screen like Destiny, most, if not a, a, a very, very large percentage of the... Um, player base wouldn't be able to run the game. Seriously, the, UI yeah. is un- the, the, the UI is unenchanted. There have been some good quality of life changes. Now you were talking about like you have to hit escape to skip shit and all that sort of thing. Yeah, that's that's a pain in the ass. But the, there is a few quality of life changes about like dismantling its right click now and all that sort of thing. It's Yeah, I haven't got around to doing that kind of stuff yet, it's, but... Like it's it it is really upsetting because you like the f- I know that the base game is actually really nice. It's a, it's a gem, and it's like they've just had to divide it up so much to obviously suit you know lo- 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 logistics of it. You know, to, like to you did the, the limitations of it. The lowest you know, like, denominator. Yeah, and it's like there's such a nice game under this. Um, the, but there's a lot of there's a lot of layers separated by a lot of load screens there's, that there's, just I feel mean, impacts onion. the onion. Yeah, I, I, like like a parfait. No, it's a fucking onion. Legit, <laughs> it's a parfait. Um, I'm glad you touched um, on that, sloth, because I've seen a few people that have been like, I can't even stream and play this game, and I feel like that is probably not. Intended, you know, like I don't, I don't it's think the gonna, game. It's gonna hurt its numbers. I don't think the game food. visually is like that fucking impressive. Like, I mean, it did, don't get me wrong; it is a very pretty it game is, when it's, it it's at its no, peak. But I don't think it's. Well, here's it's, here's the thing, right? You, it is impressive when you get into those open areas, but they're segmented so much anyway. Like, you you can see why like Destiny has these bubbles. These, I mean. When you compare it to what Destiny did, right? I think Anthem would say we're a o- huge open world, but in reality, it's not. Not that I've seen anyway. In reality, well, it's a huge open world divided by loads. And I, you say, well, I it's just actually, one area. Well, I, I would, I would argue there's not. One era, you know? I would actually beg to differ because yeah, Fort Tarsus isn't small. The 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 hangar isn't small. Uh, sorry, the is, is small. The Fort Tarsus is small. The free play area. I flew around. Not is that really not, big? I, I, like, I, I didn't fly around all of it because it would have taken a long time, um, and I was trying to get into the story and all that sort of thing. Because the story in the story and the cutscenes, like the 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 story itself and the cutscenes when you're following the main story, is they're, they're fantastic. It is yeah. a Bioware game with a yeah. fucking fantastic story. Um, yeah. But the the free play area is huge. A lot of levels. You've got underwater caves. You've got caves that are up on cliff faces. You've got constant fucking titans and world events and all that sort of shit spawning. <clears throat> you've got it is a changing universe all the time that you are in there. You know, the first time I loaded into free play, there was a fucking strider down, like a, a strider that had been attacked by an ancient titan. I was the only one fighting. Fuck, I was fighting that thing for twenty minutes. So that sounds cool. You know, like, and see, the- like, I want to be immersed into that world, and I've just found that th- that immersion has been broken a lot. When, when you're by going between like, sections, 
when you're when you're playing, so the 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 gunplay, the gameplay, like the flying, the the swimming, the flying, flying teams better, like that. that it's teams it's better, better and it, it's it look it's. I think it. I think it's fantastic. I love the third person over the shoulder yeah. shooting. You know, I, I think the I, and it, the combinations are really rewarding yeah, the when you get are nice. Yeah. When, when you when you get your combinations working, and you set but, your gear up. My, the, the, honestly, my main issue thing. is is load screens. That is really yeah. my main issue with it. That's breaking it at the moment. For my 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 big issue is that when you go into Fort Tarsus, in previous Bioware games, Mass Effect and things like that, the story like you you come up come across an NPC, you talk to them, and they're just like, "Hey man, how you doing?" And it's like it's a, they start off in a normal conversation, like you you get to know them. It's just like. Uh, like logs and NPC is like, hey man, you look pretty bored. What's up? You know, um, <laughs> oh, you're breaking like, the fourth wall. Like, <laughs> no, I'm aware. I'm very muchly aware. But like, it's a, it's a. Tell that to your resting bitch face. Um, <laughs> I'm not. I'm not. Am I? <laughs> yeah. Uh, but uh, the, uh, the 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 thing is, is that like the the in previous Bioware games, the the build up to a conversation is there and Max can in the chat can actually vouch for this. I was walking from the bar that was in the beta back to the forge to load into my suit for an ex uh, for an expedition, walk past this old fella. A little icon came up on the, on the, on the, uh, compass. Hey, speak to him. How you going? I was like, Hey, how are you? Ah, uh, my name's Jarek. And I'm the oldest man in Fort Tarsus. I've seen scars come over the walls. I've seen regulators sell all of the drugs in here. And you, freelancer, you know fuck all about everything. And I, the reason why I know is because I'm old. And let me tell you a story about how me and six of my mates got stuck in a mine and I found a bottle of water and I survived because I kept <laughs> that water to myself. And okay, yeah. Died. Like there's there's no organic conversation. It's just everyone's like like you want you speak to someone and it's like, hey, here's my fucking life story. Dude, I don't know. Like, I that didn't, dude, I, that nah, dude in the bar that's know. the absolute punish. That was what broke me when I was playing. Yeah, <laughs> and I'm like, I don't want to like, talk to this fuckwit. Can I just leave? <laughs> and it's like, no, no you have to I, fucking I, hear I, it I, out. I don't <laughs> know. I, I I wouldn't agree with that. I haven't had that experience yet. Maybe it will come up. But In between missions, every time you see someone to speak to. Yeah, I have at the moment. Them. I have Speak. spoken to everyone, the, uh, the, but I've only spoken the, to agents, though. I've only spoken to the freelancer agent. The, speak to um, everyone. They're like, well, they haven't. The only other person that's kind of the option is like the guy that does your paint job and that stuff. So, yeah, I oh, haven't seen I, <laughs> <laughs> the, the animations, which is really frustrating, but it, it kind of is on par with what happened with Andromeda, too, is that the animations. So, when we speak as humans, our whole face, forehead, temples, cheek, like the cheekbones, your cheeks, your chin, your your neck, your nose, your eyes, like it's all part of the emotion. And there are games out there that have done that and really well. In this, this part of your face is animated with the mouth that's like an upside down pedal bin going. <laughs> Wait, you don't like the animations? I think they're the okay. animations, the only, there are two characters that have good animation. Animation, animation. Oh, Yarrow, yeah. the old freelancer, and Owen, and no, 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 you the Yarrow, the old freelancer, and the dude who sells you the fucking vinyls and the skins, and he is the second longest fucking NPC I've spoken to because he has just been like, you know, if you're a freelancer, you need to make a massive entrance. Onto the onto the battlefield, you need to be like you need to put fear into the into the the, the hearts of your enemies. And he go and and you say, oh, so what? Like a big gun? And he goes, no, you need to look good. So here's all my skins that you can buy with shards and coins. That is part of this cosmetic microtransactional bullshit that EA are pushing and it is the he is the most emotive character with the uh, he looks like it I, sounds like he's a, prof a professional VO that has done the uh, done the thing but the, no the, I disagree with this the 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 fucking the, the the menu for him is three three th fucking three 
blades, for lack of a better term. That's the best way that I can. I explain. think all the voice acting has been very the voice good acting so has far. Been really good, but he has been the best though so far. And the reason why he's been the best is because he's the one that is wanting your fucking credit uh, card. Yeah, I guess you could argue <laughs> that. But I. I do think Owen is very good, and I think all the cutscenes have been amazing. And I if, think if he's, I think if you're more. thinking like to compare it to Destiny, though, right? Those interactions are the same as you when you go up to Shaxx and you press, um, you know, interact, and it's just almost a still image of Shaxx. Oh, yeah, there's no comparison. This in is that the same. Yeah. Th- like this is way above what Destiny gives you in regards to in-game oh, interaction with an NPC. Absolutely. Absolutely, absolutely yeah, strides ahead of Destiny in regards to like cut scenes. some that's, voice that's, acting, proper voice there, acting with it, dialogue yeah, options. There's, and there's a few cut scenes that think, don't use the in-game engine, like it's fully pre-rendered cut scene. Yeah. yeah. And th- those look amazing. But the in-game engine, it's like they've gone for a real, uh, like the, to make the characters as real as possible, but they look like they're made out of fucking wax and plastic. I and think the, that's- the emotional that's, range, yeah, right. The emotional range is I from don't know. below the fucking bottom of your lip up to halfway up your cheeks and your eyebrows, and that's it. I, I disagree. Well, you're allowed um, to. Now, that's a good thing. Yeah, be, I'm, I'm, the, I'm the middle. I'm the completely non-biased middleman. Anyway, uh, <laughs> the, the, the so other Slothy, thing, the you've, you've had you've had probably a little bit more time with it than Maddie has. Sorry, I don't mean to cut you off, dude. Yeah. Um, no, 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 I'm not. I'm, the story I'm itself. You were I've caught I caught a little bit of your stream where I could. You were saying that you enjoyed the story, it's and you know the oh, the character or like the monitor and things like that. Mate, all right. So like at the very start, like you do the you do the like it's a it's the missions that we can talk about it now. It's the like the start of it is what we played in the alpha. Like you you are heading into the heart of rage. Mm-hmm. You are part of Halak, um, and 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 uh, Faye Strider. And you're going mm-hmm. in and you're trying to take, like, ca- calm the heart of rage and all that sort of thing. And it's really cool. You've got these massive fuck off titans that have just demolished yeah. three striders worth of lances and all that sort of thing. It's really cool. Like, and it's, it's, it's really, really awesome. I love it. Um, the, the story of how the heart of rage started, that's cool. The, like, and, and, like, it's cohesive and engaging. It is very <laughs> engaging. It is. It's incredible. This the side quests are well written. Yeah, I think. That, However, you can't always tell that they're side quests. To be honest, no, you can't. Well, you can because it's the icon on the map. Well, you got to go into it. But like at yeah. first, I, I like didn't realize I was doing a side yeah. mission. I was like, oh shit, I'm on a side mission, not the actual. But the the the, the, the thing that really frustrates me, and maybe it's because I'm becoming really tired of seeing this type of gameplay, or if it's really lazy, I don't know. But having this having this story of Oh, you know, like we've got to calm this this cataclysm that can cause really terrible things. Like the the first side quest was you've got to go and help the Arcanists, and it sounds boring, but the backstory of it is is that the Arcanists have to stop Fort Tarsus from going into another sinkhole, mm-hmm. and the Anthem creation is so unstable is that sinkholes form, and for if one of those sinkholes goes underneath Fort Tarsus. Wall get wall down, scars and dominion in. Fucking everyone's dead. Okay, but it 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 boils down to defend this land. point. Yeah, land. Yeah, go to the place, shoot the yeah. man, or yeah. stand at this place and let the man's come to you and shoot the light. Yeah, this is this is what I said like about destiny and about anthem when we first started playing and it. I was like, I there's am. only so many ways that you can say defend this point. Yeah, there's only like, so many ways. That you so can- many, so many ways you can rephrase wave defense. <laughs> like yeah. at the end of the day, like unless you make that's not true. They, they, you have wave defense, then you also have like collect and return, which is basically like you know silence this this cataclysm by collecting X objects and returning it to point they, A. They hide you know, it well. like they hide it well. Yeah, I, I, but I, yeah, I do agree that I think that the story's delivered better and it's quite clever with how. But if you strip it all back at the end of the day, you, you've got go to the place defense. and shoot the last. Yeah. yeah, but that's you know that's at the end of the day that's the, the, what that's any a loot kind and shoot. Of, 
That that's a third shooting. or fourth open person gaming is yeah, gonna do. Yeah. That is an open world that is the that is what this open world genre of game is. And maybe I'm getting really tired of it after playing World of Warcraft, which is the same thing. Or playing Destiny since fucking God knows when. Yeah. It's the same goddamn thing. You know, like it's so, just it's I, getting it's getting to the point where where it's quite repetitive. Um, but the overarching story of the monitor and the anthem of creation and all that sort of thing is good. Good. really, really well written. And yeah. the monitor is legitimately a frightening dude. Yeah, he's cool. Um, the only other thing I would say about, about everything, you know, um, or additional to what we've said is I do like third person. Um, I, however... I just don't feel like you appreciate your weapons as much in third person compared to a first person shooter. You just can't see the I detail really of a weapon. Oh, well, I mean, the detail of it, yeah. The, the, the thing that really, like, I... I the reloading really annoys up. me. Does it annoy you, reloading? No. Because I keep accidentally cancelling because you can't visually see when the clip starts. Do you know? It's not like... He if you're used to a first person shoot, you know, like once a magazine's in, you can start doing other stuff, right? You don't have to watch the full animation. It's one of those ones where it's like, you've, you've got to really wait for the little spin wheel to get all the way around. And there's no other visual the, cue to tell you that it's yeah. loading. The, 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 now like we are not like, I'm probably the furthest, the furthest along in, out of the three of us. Oh, out of Matt and I, because Log doesn't is not going to play it. He's, he's um, a low bar. <laughs> but it's like on the oh, actually, long, actually, no, 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 no. To rephrase that, how much? What? What percentage of the game was the demo? Like the first know. mission. The 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 anthem. Uh, the the the. You Arcanist only got the lost the Arcanist mission. in the demo, right? Yeah, yeah the well, lost Arcanist was in the demo. So yeah, as a at like, a at a punt, what what? What amount of the game could you have experienced oh, in the That's time? only like an hour out of, I don't know, I've played at least four yeah. and I'm only up to the third yeah, or fourth I've, mission. I've, I've played, what, nine, ten hours of it, and I'm still early game. Yeah. It's grindy. It's grindy. And I, I, and I like that, but there's another, another thing that I saw at the end of my stream that I'm not really too fond of. <laughs> You're going to need to speak up, dude. <laughs> there's, there's a, there's a, there was a, I finished a story mission. Dad, I dug a hole. I finished a story mission. I was like, yeah, that Bioware and EA both said that, you know, there's going to be cosmetics and you purchase the cosmetics and that's cool and it's fine. You don't have to if you don't want to. That's all right. That seems to be the fucking standard of the AAA industry. Yeah. They yeah. tell you these things is that, you know, it's you don't have to. It's completely optional. Why the fuck is it in the game if it's completely optional? You wouldn't put it in if we didn't. You fucking buy it and line your pockets, fucking EA, Bobby Kotick. Sorry, Bobby Kotick's fucking Activision, but still. I, I am aware. <laughs> just, just, just. I'm um, sorry. Okay. Um, I saw this. I saw this new vendor. I'm like, oh, well, that's kind of cool. Yeah. Walked up. She's part of. Princess Zim's group of regulators that is, you <laughs> yeah. know, um, uh, that, that is, you know, like the, 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 the smugglers, the crime lords and all that sort of thing of Port Tarsus and the immediate area. Open it up. This vendor, this vendor is selling... The, the world crafting materials, this vendor is selling the embers that you get from picking up uh, crafting materials and completing quests and all that sort of thing. The things that you need to craft next tier of weapons. So you've got white weapons, green weapons, blue weapons, purple weapons, gold weapons. This vendor is selling the crafting materials the javelin parts to craft new weapons to make sure that you are on top of your game. So you can go out and you can grind and you can craft and pick it up in missions and all that sort of thing. Yeah, it's a slow process, but that's what grind is. This vendor is 
a fucking legitimate pay to win mechanic because you go in there and it's press F to buy shards and coins and shards and coins is what you use to buy the embers to get the better weapons with the better stats to fucking make sure so, that, that it is a complete pay to win mechanic that is reeks of electronic arts. I'm interested to see, I haven't seen that many yet. Can you buy it without, with your normal coins? Yes, but the normal coins are also, the normal coins are also used for uh, the armor pieces, the cosmetics. It's also used for the cosmetics as well. Yeah. So, so you, you either one of the reasons or- why I'm not angry is because I know that there'll be enough anger in the community that it will sort itself out. Like, if it's proper egregious, you know, we saw it with Destiny. This is, exa- this is exactly what happened with Destiny. They oh, put all, all the good shit into Eververse, and there was enough backlash that changes were made about it. And I'm, I just had a quick search there just to see if, if this was coming up in conversation. And it hasn't yet because people haven't had enough time, but it will. And there'll be enough outrage about it, and they'll have to eat their words about it. I, don't, w- I don't want there to be outrage about it. <clears throat> Reflects reflects poorly on Bioware. People will go and and it reflects poorly on Bioware. I don't want it to reflect poorly on Bioware because Bioware are the ones that are putting in the hard yards yeah. on, on making this game and they will be copying all the flat, but it's fucking electronic arts and their egregious fucking giant slug bastard prick asshole fucking business strategies that fuck over smaller smaller studios and all they're in for is making money. EA, mm. you goddamn fucking parasites. <laughs> <laughs> Nailed it. Nailed it. Um, <laughs> Nailed it. You know, I, I, I agree. I, I agree. If, if, if you're saying it's not pay to win, I, I, think, I think materials to... You know, it's cheeky, man. You can buy in a farming game, in a weapons. game where you're going to have to farm mats and farm bits and farm ba- currencies you know, and all that sort of shit. Time, I haven't seen the model for it yet, and I haven't seen, like, how grindy it is yet. So it is hard to say, you know, if those materials are very easy and natural to get, there's a different outcome than if it's like, okay, I can either grind for five hours or I can spend $5. You know, then it's like, well, that's really shitty. But if it's like, that's what it is. You have an abundance of materials just from playing the game, and you know, you can oh, easily you can, make the can, the make weapons without it. Then I think that's a different pick story. Up the so base I don't, materials, I don't really know but yet. the embers are the one. You can pick up the base world materials, but the embers are the ones that are the bigger ones. <laughs> And when I so say what's, what, what's the embers like in a in a destiny Ember. sense, what what, what would you right, compare Ember it? Masterwork uh, calls, masterwork calls. <laughs> I guess. So green, you need you need the. the Are you fucking serious? A, in this game, there right. is a vendor that effectively sells masterwork calls. Yeah, you've got green. Like you've got ven, a vendor. The vendor sells base embers, green embers, which are for uncommon weapons and armor. And 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 the 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 slots like the support slots, blue, purple, they don't sell the masterwork stuff like the top of the range stuff. So you you basically just, get you can boost yourself to the end game is really what that would mean, right? Yep. Yeah. Okay. Well, I mean that in I mean, we'll see. Pay to win or pay to win. I, 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 really do so I, I yeah. honestly don't feel I can comment much on it until I see it for myself. Oh, and I, I will flip my screen right now and I will fucking show you if you want. It's me. not that I don't believe you, Sloth. It's just no, that, no, no. I, I know, you know that you're not. Like it's like that. I want to make my own is, opinion about is, it as well. This is how this is how frustrated I am by this. Is that is that the fucking boardroom absolute oxygen thieves who would fucking run their own grandmother over if it fucking made them $5 <laughs> at the top of EA. Not the developers, not the sound designers, not the VO, yeah. not the vo- and not the fucking motion capture dudes. It's the people at the top, 
the ones who sit in the boardroom and say, fuck, how much money can we make from the pleb masses today? Fuck you. Mm. Yeah, dude. And I think we can extend that, uh, you know, all encompassing fuck you to the people at the top of Activision who laid off 800 oh. people this week despite making record fucking profits. We honestly, at this point, do not know whether the people that we know that work for Acti still have a fucking job. I, I mean, I don't know. Do yeah. you know, Matt? No, I should You know, make like, sure. and there are people from Vicarious Visions and fucking High Moon and all of these studios that have been cut. Exactly. You go on Twitter and you scroll for more than about 10 tweets, you will see someone who has been put out of a job so, by this because the communities I mean, around it are retweeting to try and get these people exposure. And I think that's fucking incredible. Go out there, do what that. What do you sort think of the, average in, the average annual income would be for an Activision employee? I've got no idea, man. And it'd have to be based Probably. on qualifications and all that sort of stuff. But yeah, I was just thinking, like, when the CEO gets fifteen million sign up or whatever C- it was, CFO, 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 the C could have just gone. You know what? Maybe don't give me fifteen million and like take. I don't know. Give seven, half of the people the like, ability to have a job for another year at least. <laughs> yeah, or, that, that's what I'm getting at. Yeah. Well, I can't remember the I can't remember the, the the CEO's name from Nintendo. And I, you know, Nintendo have done dumb shit in the past, and they will continue yeah. to do dumb shit because it's Nintendo. But Nintendo, this CEO of Nintendo, I I legitimately can't remember his name. It's a Japanese dude, I can't remember his name. Someone will probably correct me. But he took a pay cut. Yeah, it was like a f- at the top. 60% of something pay cut and all of them encouraged all of the other executives to do the same so they didn't have to fucking make layoffs. Yeah. Like, and, and that they, wasn't, they, 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 they were running the company at a, like it was on its, it was in a downturn. It wasn't like they were making fucking profits. This is yeah, like, this is downturn. fucked. I, I don't know. I mean, I'm going through some shit with my work at the moment where there's a lot of this sort of top down pressure and bullshit going on. And then to see this sort of corporate fuckwittery just being extended to things that I love as well. It's like, I mean, that's partly why I've just gone with Anthem. Look, it's, it's exactly the, it's the same fucking wolf in a different sheep's clothing. The difference between EA and Activision, they're the same fucking animal. They're a shareholder run 10, business. 10%. So ten percent of their workforce. Do you know what? Like, I just, is gone. I just can't imagine. Like, I try to put myself. Like, just imagine for a second, right? New, you're the new CFO, right? And you just get fifteen million. I can't imagine then going into work and be like, right? We need to get people fucking ten percent. Like, I just. I, I, obviously, that's why I've never been in that position because I wouldn't make those decisions. You know why? I Matt? just could not. Because you have a justify soul. Justify that. You have a soul. You're a human being. You are not a corporate fuck. You are. Can you are you not imagine? just an extension of fucking capitalism. You are a human being. That is the difference. Can you it makes imagine, me sick. like, like earning that much money and making decisions for people who are. Definitely earning, earning less than seventy five thousand dollars a year. Yeah, but like middle class, all right, or less than middle class, right? Just working their ass off doing in the in an industry that they love, which is gaming, um, and already having to deal with gamers <laughs> as a fucking whole, right? Already having to deal with that shit, and just getting stomped on, just getting squashed. And they, they already have to deal with grind. Mm. I, not grind. Uh, uh, yeah. Uh, what's it called? Yeah, it's burnout, that, you know. Yeah, that and, crunch. 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 It's crunch. also yeah, the, the thing that's to essential to a good guitar tone. So crunch is good in guitar tones, bad in the gaming industry. Is, but um, Mr. Dude. Nacho Nova King, is that, is that the name of the dude? Shantaro Furukawa? What a champion. I mean... It, I mean, yeah, if that's the name, that's his oh, name. Thank you. I thought he was making a joke. I was with that. Shut up. Fuck you. Like, that's all I heard of that. Well, that's yeah. racist. And, anyway. The, 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 the fun, and, and Riley and Chucky, I just, I don't think, I don't, I may have been, it is beneficial to Bungie that they're now, a, post-September, they're an independent developer. But I also don't think, I don't think it was a hundred percent Bungie's decision. No, I don't think so either. And I think, like in the fullness of time, we'll probably have a better understanding of what that is. But you know, whether it's been um, Activision looking down the pipeline of funding Destiny Three and being like, "Well, we're not in a position to be able to do that," and as a result, 
Bungie have gone back to them, well, we want to make it, so you better fucking let us out of the contract because someone's basically been forced to breach the contract at some point from them want to rip it up. There's, yeah, and I think I, I, the I way reckon there's, looked, a, there's a bit of both. I think, I think, I don't know, I think from someone from Bungie fucking jumped on the idea of getting out like, we can take advantage of this. Like, that's the impression yeah, I get is like, hey, man, fortune favors the, the brave. Pumped. Strike, yeah. I, I feel like they fucking did a ninja sneak attack, but on, not- <laughs> on getting out of that contract. And you, you like just to just to bring like to close out this conversation because we can sit here and ramble on about triple A, and I know fucking damn well that I can too. Um, is that you think you've seen it all? <laughs> you think you've seen it all in the triple A bullshit. And then Activision goes and lays off ten percent of their workforce after posting, after posting <laughs> one of the biggest fucking record years. What yeah. what can you say? I got, I got nothing else to say. I got nothing. What can you um, say to that? Just, the only thing that that is upsetting is I just don't think this. The, the only thing that's upsetting is this isn't normal practice and. This happens all the time and it's bullshit and I don't know how people can fucking sleep at night making those decisions. Yeah, they sleep on a mattress that's full, filled with fucking $100 bills. <laughs> you know what? At the end of the day, it's just money and you can't take it with you when you go all the way fucking down, you maggots. You're dead. You're going to hell. Absolutely Good night. Fucking maggots. I don't even believe in any um, of that shit, but still... <laughs> Log's getting religious. So, so um, get biblical, do you reckon, man. Uh, Log, do you reckon I could do a little plug A plug A about part two? Yeah. Fucking hell. All right. Mate, let's, yeah, bring it, let's close you. it out on Fine. something uplifting. Let's, <laughs> yeah. let's do it. So, and I'll, uh, I won't as, laugh, as, laugh at the inappropriate. Yeah. Hey, I will hey, not hey. read Chucky Wookie's comments whilst hey, we're as, doing as, as, I as mentioned. It. <laughs> Yeah, I know. I clipped it. It's like, oh <laughs> shit. Um, so, guys, the reason why the, the reason why we well, I'm a lot more weirder and more aggro than usual, is that um, uh, doing a charity stream for Beyond Blue. Now, the three of us all suffer from some sort of mental health issue, one way or another. We've spoken about this on several occasions and all that sort of thing. Um, so we did the we did. Um, the real time sloth community, uh, uh, Pelosi Squad community, did the first twelve hour this morning, raised a thousand and sixty two dollars or something like that, um, and we're doing the next twelve hour uh, this evening, eleven thirty pm Australian Eastern Standard Time, in Metro Exodus, which I'm a hey. little bit excited to play. Um, so uh, if you guys want to come in, um, if you follow the DDU log, log's probably going to fucking retweet that shit because he. Absolutely. Um, uh, if you want to come in and and hang out and you know retweet like the, all of the retweets that you guys, the DDU community, Matt's community, Lost community, uh, all of the retweets and the likes and the, the the comments on Twitter, thank you. That helps so much. It's significantly fucking so much. Thank you very much. We've reached our first stretch goal where my wife gets to wax my chest. <laughs> What's next? Your ass. <laughs> the, the 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 next the next oh. minor stream goal is uh, streaming Subnautica from start to finish, which I'm not looking forward to because that game gave me fucking nightmares. <laughs> that game is next, really good and really terrifying at the same that, time. That the the next big one after that is two thousand dollars, where I'm going to go to a professional waxing place and get my legs done from fucking. Uh, <laughs> From just below the couch all the way down to the feet. Oh, dude! Oh, just thinking of the, just thinking of dude, the. It's not like, even the pain at the time; head. it's the regrowth, dude. Oh, oh. oh you're gonna be so. You're gonna have permanently itchy legs. This is gonna hurt. <laughs> um, but yeah, I can't so, wait to um, tell Rach about this. She's gonna love it. <laughs> You get the, you get the one thousand dollar donation, Rach Power Slave, just, <laughs> just based on that. So um, that's that's tonight, and we might keep the donations open for the whole week. We'll see how we go. But all of the donations, all of the sub revenue, all of the bits, 
will be going towards the charity stuff um, and uh, and all that sort of thing. Uh, and uh, yeah, yeah, nice. that's that's tonight, dude. Proud um, of you. You're a good man. Nah, I'm a cunt. No, well, you're a cunt. Um, <laughs> you try hard anyway. <laughs> You got your you got your guitar there, mate. Uh oh no, I can go and get it. I don't even know what tuning. Why? Why? Oh, am I doing? We're going to do this every week now, are we? The we're exit. Do this every week. Oh fuck. Oh, the no, exit. I, yeah, right. Hey, do you remember when we started that like tell a story at the end of the cast? Yeah. Oh yeah. All right. Hey, you know what? Instead of the music, instead of the instead of the music, let's do that. Yeah. All right. Okay. Look, I just I never know if these suggestions are going to go down well or not, but. I think you've got a pretty good strike rate so far. I'll give you that. Oh, two X, two X is pretty good. Now, yeah. I don't know. This, this is not, probably not going to be a funny one. I just thought this would be a good way just to end in something different, right? Last yeah. night, Danny and I went to the movies yeah. and we saw yeah. um, uh, an, a leader battle angel, right? Mm-hmm. Is it good? And for the, for the first time in a long time, we walked out and Danny was like, that was shit. And I was like, I really enjoyed it. And we just had this massive disagreement on, like, if it was a good movie. So the question is, what movie did you watch with your significant other that you both were just like, nah, fuck you, nah, fuck you, nah, like, that's... Terminator 2. What? What, you mean, like... Lindsay you, loved you, it and you hated it. Li- Lin- Lindsay loves... My, Lindsay loves and the girls love Terminator 2. I think it's fucking shit. <laughs> <laughs> I thought we'd fucking oh, yeah, bury this wrong. shit, man. I Come think on. You're, I think <laughs> can I can I just take the to, can I not make it about a movie and just make it about something else? Yeah. Because yeah, the, the the biggest argument I think Rachel and I have ever had is Rachel is like was raised on Bon Jovi and I took her to see Bon Jovi. And after about four songs, I wanted to throw myself off the top of the fucking, at the time, Sydney Superdome because watching a fucking 55-year-old man fucking <laughs> the fucking <laughs> big screen monitor every 30 seconds. And he's like, is, is that fucking, gravity has been that hard on him that at that point he looked more like Arnold Schwarzenegger than any fucking recognisable John Bon Jovi. And I, we walked out of that and we were walking to the car and I'm like, I just want to go home. And Rachel's like, no, I want to go out. And, and I'm like, that, that was the shittest concert I've ever been to. And I have been to a band called Die Cunt. <laughs> <laughs> You know, I've been to some fucking shit shows and that was down there. Like, it was fucking awful. And Rachel okay, loved you, it, so. You can yeah. extend it to experiences if you like sloth, if you'd like to change your answer. What experience oh, have you, God. like, oh, Jesus. All just right, so. walked away from going, that was great. No, that was awful. So we went and saw um, my, my brother-in-law, my wife and I went and saw uh, the Ashes at Lords, and it was when Freddie Freddie Flintoff was still playing. And I, if I remember correctly, it's the season. It's the season when Australia got absolutely whitewashed in the, during the British tour. Um, and then during the British tour, and my wife and my brother in law love Freddie Mercury. Because, uh, Freddie Mercury, Freddie Flintoff, because he's <laughs> I would, a young. I would he, pay money to watch Freddie Mercury bowl. Play, play <laughs> fucking bowl. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> and and like uh, and like Chris, Chris is a Chris is a he's a he's a big cricket fan. Lindsay just sort of came along because we were having drinks and all that sort of thing. And we're in the uh, in the black cab. Um, back uh, heading back home, and she uh, she goes, oh, that was a really good cricket match. Like I've really enjoyed it, and I'm just like, were we watching the same <laughs> game? And she goes, oh, that was a really good cricket match, and and I go, that was fucking rubbish. That was rubbish. You know, you know fuck all about cricket. That was rubbish. And she goes, and. We, she's like, but Freddie Flintoff, Freddie Flintoff, it was, a, you know, he's a fucking, he's just a drunk northerner, you know, like it was fucking awesome. And I <laughs> hate, hate Flintoff. I love the TV shows he does now, but when he was playing cricket, I wanted him to be hit by multiple fucking <laughs> bag suitcases and all that sort of thing. I just, oh my fucking lord. 
I just, and we ended up like we we got on the taxi and then we got on the bus to go back to her go back to the, her mum's place. We were screaming at each other on the bus. And I mean drunk screaming at each other on the bus. Fuck you, Freddie Flintoff is an absolute fuckhead. Oh my no, god. No, you're not. You're a cunt. You're just oh, a fucking dumb. That's five for the show. <laughs> oh my god. I've just. Well, I, and my brother in law is a. Sorry, <laughs> Manchester. And had, he's just sitting there laughing his fucking nuts. Laughing. Anyway. That was that was story time with DDU. The disagreements with the significant others would we'll, 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 we'll <laughs> title that one. Alright, so Sonas of Loth. Sloth. Loth. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, if you are listening or watching in the live chat, thank you very much for hanging out. Uh, you're, uh, if you're listening on our audio-only platforms, thank you very much for your continued patronage. If you let, if you have any questions, queries, Delphi points, please just let us know on Twitter or YouTube. If you're watching on YouTube, thank you for hitting, uh, please hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so already. It really helps us out and it gives us more, uh, more, uh, a bigger audience to let us, to, 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 to that makes sense. Bigger audience. Um, let us let us <laughs> let us know exactly the cast in the comments yeah. below. And uh, uh, make sure to join the Discord. You make sure you follow the Twitter. And uh, <laughs> I can see you going for it again, you are man. <laughs> Thank you very much for listening to us talk to shit for the last hour and a half. Thank you very much. All right, we're gonna have to do Destiny. We have been the Destiny Down Under podcast. Chook, you're an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> the the law is coming. However, it's behind four load screens, so you've got plenty of time to get away. <laughs> hey, maybe they should have put the law on the load screens. That would have been. <laughs> we've got plenty of time yeah, to read that's it. That's true. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, see you next week. Bye. 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 Bye.